This text to image AI tool is insane. It's amazing. And I think you are going to love this. What you can do with this is you can create and put text on AI generated images. Stable diffusion, mid journey, they can do it. But this new brand new tool can do it in seconds for you. Before we jump into the demo, you know what to do. Like and share so more people can see this video. So the tool is called Ideogram. So go to Google and search for Ideogram AI. And then you're going to open the, the first link, which is right here. Now, how do you sign up? It's super fast, super simple. Uh, just sign up with the Google and it will create a brand new account for you. Now, let me log in and show you what this looks like from the inside. So here is my account. Let me resize this ideogram, uh, my profile homepage. And you can see this is kind of like a Pinterest ish. But well, this is awesome. You can see creations from other people and look at some of these designs. It's really, really simple. And in a second, I'll show you how to use it. What type of prompts you can put here to create uh, these amazing graphics. And by the way, here's another cool thing. If you go up, these are the ones uh, recent. These are the recent generations. If you see trending, here's everything that's trending. If you're following any person, it will show you what they are generating. And then here are the top creations. How cool is that? And obviously, one of the ways I learn about a new tool is I just click on one of the existing generations. And here is the prompt that this guy used to create this uh, poster of Steve Jobs. This is actually awesome. Uh, poster design, here are the crazy ones. Steve Jobs, face on the side, screen print style painting. So you can get ideas about the prompts. So for example, if you uh, be still, know that I'm God, here is the text right and all the prompts, all the instructions that this person used. You can remix this too. Now let's go on the top and this is where you're gonna enter your prompt. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that I've learned to use this tool, to, the prompt to pay close attention. <laughs> so one of the ways I do is just a simple, so let's say uh, I wanna do, never give up that's a text i want on my graphics and um, i'll do stars sky and then if you click on uh, see all here are different things you can select different features so typography graffiti cinematic or i can do uh, photo and you can play with all illustration you can play with the other uh, aspects too and then from here you can set the aspect ratio this is going to be a longer video uh, longer dimension or image here's the square here is the horizontal let's go with square image and then click on generate and then you'll notice in just a few seconds it will generate that and it's going to use that never give up as a text on this graphic and it'll go for like star ish sky ish uh, type of look and feel oh here you go that was super fast so if I, it's still generating, that's why it's kind of like a little blurry. But yeah, it's the generation in process. Here you go, it's done. Wow, this is awesome. Never give up. See how cool this is? And you are able to embed anything, any text uh, that you want on the images. So that was one way. The other way you can do is just enter the word text. So here's my other prompt. So you can say text colon and I'm gonna say work smart not hard. That's a text I want and then I'll, I'll add some description. So I'm gonna say sunrise and then sky and then from here um, uh, let's go I'm gonna remove that illustration photo. Let's look at all any other cinematic let's introduce that style also I want to keep it uh, square and then click on generate and now give it a few seconds and boom look at this so neat <gasps> Works. I kind of like this one by the way everything that you're generating it's saved under your profile so if you click on your face here you'll notice everything that you're generated everything that I've generated it's it's saved here you can follow other people too. So for example, I'm following one person. So if you find anyone here, you can follow them. And then you'll be e able to easily see their creation, the images that they are generating. Now, one of the methods, so we looked at two different methods. One of the methods I've seen some people use is, you can say uh, person holding the sign 
that says and I'm gonna add the text here live in the now and this time let's go with the the vertical image and then click on generate and I said person holding the sign you can do ghost holding the sign you can do robot holding the sign so you can obviously play with uh, some of the, the the prompt structure here or anything that you want to add to the prompt and here you go it's almost ready Wow I kind of love this one <laughs> live in the now live in the that's a that's a really neat one too and you see how the, the hands are kind of a little funny-ish here uh, but if you regenerate it a couple of times you can add I don't know which aspect I added here I actually didn't use any of these so you can add some of these uh, aspects or some of these styles here or try lucky style <laughs> uh, th that if you click on lucky style, it's, it's gonna randomly select something for you and then you can do a regeneration of that to improve it so obviously AI is not perfect especially when it comes to generating human uh, faces or limbs hands or fingers of the foot so you can regenerate a couple of times and then it will uh, hopefully do a much uh, better job of that ah nice look at this that's a neat too live in the now all right one of the things I've seen some people do is they actually use this to generate logos so <laughs> let's say I want to say logo for a marketing company that says let's do marketing and I'm gonna pick uh, some of these styles here product cinematic and then click on generate and I selected the the square image so let's see what it does because I've seen some people look at this this was a modern logo for premium tech company I've seen some people generate logos here. Here is another logo for a gaming eSport company. So here you go. Look at this. So here's my logo. Obviously, this is I, this is not like, like a logo, but this is interesting. Oh, I like this one. Let's do marketing. How oh, neat. How clear is that? And then obviously, like I said in the beginning, you can go study other people's uh, and see how they are whatever so he's using for this graphic the person used 3d render typography illustration look at that that's a really neat generation so awesome awesome tool text to ai image generation and it will put the text on your images which other tools are not they're not that many tools that can actually uh, do this for you ideogram ai if you have any questions let me know before you go, like and share this video so more people can see this. And now I'll see you in this next video. Bye for now.